Oh well, home and I'll have to come out again another time. The 12th of June, and it's the first time I've been in Nepal this year. Just shows you how bad the weather's been. In the past, I think the earliest we've been in is towards the end of March. Normally it's sort of early April. And here it is June. Fortunately, the weather's changed, it's now warm. And it's warmed the pool up enough for me to get in. Ah, bliss. Just been for a haircut in Alcatillo. It's a much needed haircut, I must say. I've needed it cutting for at least two weeks, but haven't managed to do it, but at least it's done now. And my plan was then to do a video here in Cotillo, going along the various beaches and see how busy they are and, and what have you. But typically, this camera isn't working properly again. The screen won't come on, it's just blank. Well, it's a light, but... Uh, there's nothing on it, so although I'm pretty sure it's working enough to do this little video clip, I certainly can't use it to film other things because I won't see what I'm actually filming. I bet you as soon as I get home, I'll switch the camera on and it's working. And it's typical, it's an absolutely perfect day to do a video like this today because there's virtually no wind and it's sunny and lovely and the sea's calm. <laughs> uh, just typical, I'll show you that because I know that you'll see that. See, what a lovely day it is. Oh well, home and I'll have to come out again another time. Well, sadly, I did go and make that video again a few days later. You may have seen it when it was very windy. And I was using my camera and I put it down on some rocks in the lagoons and the tide came in a bit and just touched the bottom of it and it got wet only a bit wet and now it won't work at all it's completely dead which is a great shame because i've made nearly all of my videos with this old camera and i'm very sorry to see it go because it was just so convenient to just flip open the screen and be ready to video I have an amazing 50 time zoom on it and now I don't have anything suitable I'm using my phone at the moment and I hate using phones smartphones should be used for making phone calls and for sending texts as far as I'm concerned and the word smart shouldn't be used because they're pretty stupid I don't know what to do now about a camera I really don't I suppose I'll come up with something. Anyway, this was the last piece of footage this camera ever shot. Here it is now. What a shame. Bye bye camera. Well, today we've come over to the Barranco near Lajares where we're meeting Greg with his dogs and Christine with her, well, two dogs they are. And one of the reasons we're coming here is we're going to walk to Christine's dog's grave, Coco. Because sadly, she was killed about three weeks ago. She was a lovely little dog. Here she is here in an old video. I always used to joke that she was a cross between a pit bull and a mouse. Uh, she really was a sweet little thing. Her only fault was that she used to chase cars. And Christine took them for a walk three weeks ago and in the middle of nowhere and a car appeared from nowhere and then she gave chase and it was one chase too many and she ended up getting run over and killed instantly. What a sh real shame. So we're going to go have a little walk and see where she's buried.
So we're pulling out to McGarvey from the side of the house today. Greg's giving me a hand. Brought the 4x4 four four over. And it's not been easy so far. We've uh, broken three tow ropes so far. But now we're using my stump puller and it's working. So we've got one out from there, another from there. Now we've just got to get this one out using this. Okay, buddy. Come on, gents. Out the way. Jensen, 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 get over here. Keep going. A bit more. Whoa. Okay, take it away. Come here, Jensen. Come here. Not gonna go, I don't think. So we need to do a bit of digging around the roots. Bugger. Well, we didn't stop there because we also, give you some idea of scale, pulled out this monster which took a lot of pulling because you can see the size of the roots. Trouble is getting rid of it, it's too big to burn. I probably need to cut it up into bits and dump it. And while well, I can see it next here, is something that uh, you don't tend to see in the UK, we bought some compost. I may have mentioned this before in a video, but uh, suitable for growing cannabis. <laughs> Not that I'll be doing that, but here you can legally grow a certain number of plants for personal use. God. Rain in June. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, in England at the moment, they've got a heat wave. Something very wrong with the weather. So today I'm at the town hall because, believe it or not, I need to get permission to have a bonfire on San Juan's Day, which is in a few days' time. Bureaucracy everywhere. But at least the weather is clearing up again. 
clouds are going away, it looks like it's going to be sunny. Wonder how much longer I've got to queue here. Because of course you've all got to uh, maintain separation and all this sort of crap. It'll be some Wednesday by the time I get in here I think. Oh well. Back to the mask. First bonfire for two years. And boy have I got a lot of stuff to burn. All of this. All of this. All of that. All of that. All of that. And a bit more elsewhere in the garden. It'll take a while. Getting there slowly. She has come to watch with a glass of wine. Well, we've just come to El Cotillo with friends for a meal at the Olive Oak also. Lovely evening, as you can see. And we're just over, where my finger is. Oops, it's focused on my finger. Over there. don't seem too bothered, do they? Castle's there in the kitchen. 